So what sticks, man? Yeah. So what? What do I have to worry about? Yeah. What sticks? Great question. Um, let's take some of the biggest things and the biggest ones, the hairiest ones. IRS liens. If the IRS is not notified, that is going to stick, and they're going to want you to pay that before you can get clear title, which sucks, right? But let's think about the lifespan of an IRS lien. It's actually only ten years. So if it was filed, only ten. Only ten. <laughs> um, so if it was filed eight years ago, you just got two more years to go. You hold on to oh, the property okay. for two okay. years, and then you can sell it. Um, but remember, you can always sell something as is, but the investor is not going to want to buy it as is with this IRS sure. attached to it. Mm -hmm. So if they're notified, like I said, just a one-year federal uh, right of redemption, um, anything that sticks, uh, so people who are not notified, that's going to stick. Sure. Uh, the good news is, is that sometimes you can push the overages, essentially whatever is above the minimum bid, uh, that can go to the homeowner, that can go to people that have an interest in the property, okay. lien holders. Um, you can push the money towards that as well. Yeah. So a situation where that's not going to be helpful is if the minimum bid is $30,000 and our maximum bid is $31,000. That's what I was going to ask you next. There's nothing to play with there. Yeah. And so you just need to be aware. Um, but like, like we said, tax title services can cure a lot of issues, um, but then sometimes it's going to cost as well. So the best thing to do is just avoid all of it to begin with. Sure. You know, one of the things nice about Philadelphia is they actually, you know, they'll give you a print of all the liabilities on the property. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they automatically push all those overages to uh, whatever needs to be paid off. So that's one of the things that's really a lot better about Philadelphia market than yeah. some of the other markets. Definitely. Where it might be a, a struggle or a fight or even mm -hmm. have to involve some legal paperwork to get it uh, yeah. to the right place. So that's yeah. one thing that's nice about this market. Yeah, because it costs money, you know, you've got to hire a lawyer, you got to take time. Um, it can just be a mess, you know. Sure. And then you just want to avoid yeah. when uh, heirs have not been notified. I mean, if your plan, you know, if your plan is to hold on to it till kingdom come, then really none of this is going to matter a whole lot for you because if you're okay spending money and holding on to it for ten years, ten plus years, yeah. you know, time's going to heal all of that. But for the average investor, our average customer, you know, our average student, they mm -hmm. want to get their money in and they want to get it out. And so in this case, you know, title is extremely important. Sure. Um, yeah. So let's wrap this up. Three sentences that I need to know about title. Summarize it for me. Summary. Bring it home. Bring it home, baby. All right. So under the one point, you know, title is extremely important. You got to research these properties. Got to research the property records. Okay. You know, it's very important. You want to pull everything up. Uh, just a quick thought from earlier. Yeah. Sure. If you're searching and you go, you're searching through the history and you bring up a quick claim deed, you got to search beyond that quick claim deed. You got to okay. search back until you find a warranty deed. So if I sell a property to Dory as is, and Dory's doing a title search, and he just sees that I buy it as is and stops there, uh, that's not gonna be good enough. He's gotta see who I bought it from, and did mm -hmm. they sell it as is. Could you imagine if two people sold something as is, mm -hmm. there could be a whole lot of uh, junk floating around um, until you get back to that warranty deed, and there might be a lot of stuff you need to clean up mm -hmm. if you wanna get that clear title. But yeah, so you want it. Yeah, that wasn't it. really a recap. That was you just <laughs> making it more complicated <laughs> more for us. <laughs> You wanna, you, but it is complicated, but that's why we're doing the video. Yeah, we're doing the video <laughs> and you know, pay someone to help you. Um, but you just look at the property records. The more you do this, the more you get used to it. You sure. Know, you start one at a time. Just start doing it. Get on the internet. You want to look at the property records. Yeah. Every county's got them. Hopefully online, most do. Look at property records. Yeah. You know the history. That's number one. Number one. Look I'm at property to, I'm records. I'm trying to make it What's easy. What's number two? Number two. Check the notifications. Um, look at the court records. Make sure everyone who has an interest in the property is notified. Number three. Number three. Come, come learn from us. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm That's saying. That's what I'm saying. Come learn from us. Um, That's it. We'll walk you through title. You know, we're actually about to make a video as well. Maybe not right now, but we're gonna make it today. <laughs> we're gonna make a video today um, or tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> tomorrow doesn't sound good either. <laughs> tomorrow we're we're, we're gonna an option. <laughs> Um, we're, oh, gonna the, back, we're gonna walk through um, students of ours how we do this online. So I'm gonna have the computer open and we'll film the whole process. You know, so we'll be able to see that. So sure. students that come to a live auction have access to that. So if you're not, uh, if you haven't been to a live auction, you gotta come check it out. Um, but so I know title is, is crazy. It is. But essentially, what we talked about that's that's the big thing. Yeah. That is that that's is that's the, the overview. That is the overview. We'll get some details mixed in with it here pretty soon mm -hmm. with another video, but mm -hmm. that's gonna be for the students and the folks who uh, are partnered with us. <laughs> yeah, but you, the way you, got, it is. you got the right direction now, you know. You know what you're looking for, and when you know what you're looking for, you can you can start and you can take those first steps and then go make it happen, make it rain. Yep. There you go, there it is. <laughs> so we should do this as a partner. Yeah.
You want some more information? You should. What are you doing to my hand? Subscribe here. Oh, it's, it's going to be in here. It's going to be right in here. Come on. Come on. Come yeah, on. right here. This is where it's going to be. That's what's up. <laughs> yes. Or it could be here. Yep. We got, we got tons of videos. Yeah. So please check them out. <laughs> and uh, that's all we got. You know, we're losing it. So we'll uh, see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tax Certificate School. Woo-hoo. My man, Dory. All right. Peace. Later. Bye.